The amount of news leaked in the past 24 hours is insane, and in this video, we'll be explaining everything, so stay tuned until the end. Ferrari have announced that Federic Vasseur has been appointed as their new Formula 1 team principal, replacing Mattia Binotto. Vasseur left Alfa Romeo after six seasons on Tuesday morning to take up the post following Bonotto's departure from the helm in Maranello, a post he had held since 2019. Ferrari bosses John Elkin and Benedetto Vigna were unhappy after Binotto failed to lead a sustained championship push in 2022, with his resignation being tendered after the season-ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. In his place, Ferrari have acted quickly to appoint Vasseur, who also had a brief spell in charge of the Renault squad in 2016. He'll join Ferrari as team principal and general manager on January the 9th, 2023, which suggests less corporate responsibility will be placed on Vasseur, with a managing director or CEO being brought in above him as Binotto had held the roles of team principal and managing director. Now, before his time in F1, Vasseur ran the successful Art Grand Prix squad in GP2, helping the likes of Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton to the series title in 2005 and 2006. I'm truly delighted and honoured to take over the leadership of Scuderia Ferrari as team principal, Vasseur said in a team statement. As someone who has always held a lifelong passion for motorsport, Ferrari has always represented the very pinnacle of the racing world to me. I look forward to working with a talented and truly passionate team in Maranello to honour the history and heritage of the Scuderia and deliver for our tifosi around the world. Ferrari CEO Vigna praised Vasseur for how he's combined his technical strengths as a trained engineer with a consistent ability to bring out the best in his drivers and teams. He also added that this approach and his leadership are what we need to push Ferrari forward with a renewed energy. Vasseur had previously worked closely with driver Charles Leclerc in the junior formulas, as well as at Sauber in 2018 during the Monegas rookie campaign. I can only comment on my experience with Fred, which obviously has been good. I've worked with him already in the junior categories when he believed in me, Leclerc explained. We've always had a good relationship, but that shouldn't influence any of the decisions. He's always been very straightforward and very honest, it's something I like from Fred. So, besides Vasseur becoming the new team principal for Ferrari, there are a few other big things that have changed at McLaren and Alfa Romeo. Let me explain this. With Vasseur leaving Alfa Romeo, Sauber have appointed former McLaren team principal Andreas Seidel as CEO. The German joins the Swiss-based outfit in a move influenced by Audi's recent strategic buy-in to the team ahead of its 2026 entry into F1. Seidel previously worked at Sauber in the 2000s when the team was run under the aegis of BMW and spoke of his delight at return to Hinwil. It's great to join the Sauber group from January. This is a team with a rich history in Formula 1 and an organisation I know really well from my time working and living in Hinwil for four years, said Seidel. I can't wait to join the team and work with all the colleagues at Sauber on the ambitious goals we've set together. I want to thank everyone at Sauber for their choice. I'm looking forward to repaying their trust with my work. McLaren have announced that Andreas Stella will succeed Andreas Seidel as team principal from the 2023 season onward. The Woking team announced the departure of Seidel along with the promotion of Andreas Stella to the role of team principal. Stella has been with McLaren since 2015, working most recently as Executive Director of Racing before the departure of Andreas Seidel to Sauber. I feel privileged to take on the team principal role as the next stage of being part of the McLaren F1 team. I'm grateful to Zach and the shareholders for their trust in me and to all my colleagues and those who have supported me throughout my F1 career," commented Stella. We're realistic about the amount of work ahead of us to move back up the grid, but I'm excited and encouraged that I'm in this journey together with a team full of talent, experience, racing spirit and dedication. I look forward to working closely with each of them, Lando and Oscar, to together achieving great success and enjoying the journey. Well, Christian Horner believes there will be huge pressure on Vasseur taking up the role as Ferrari Formula 1 team boss after Mattia Binotto's resignation. The Red Bull team principal paid tribute to Bonotto at the recent FIA prize-giving ceremony, complimenting him on the job he's done at turning around Ferrari's fortunes in recent years. In all fairness to him, he did a very good job at producing a very competitive car and engine for Ferrari this year, but obviously they had their moments operationally, Horner said. But Bonotto committed a long period of his career and life to Ferrari, 
and I'm sure it must be very difficult for him to leave that team after all that time. Horner is Formula One's longest serving team principal. Having joined F1 in 2005, while Ferrari will have gone through six in that period with just one driver's championship in 2007 and two constructors' championships in 2007 and 2008. Anyone who takes on the role will be subjected to huge pressure to deliver, according to Horner, who was reportedly contacted about the role but declined. He added, There's a huge pressure on that team as it's effectively a national team as well as an OEM team. It will now be the sixth team principal that I've sat across the table from since I've been at Red Bull, so a lot of pressure on that job. On Tuesday morning, Ferrari announced that it would be Fred Vasseur who would become the team principal and general manager, effective January the 9th. It marks the greatest challenge to date of Vasseur's long and largely successful career in motorsport. He'll now face the pressures of not only a team, but a nation, where Stefano Domenicali, Marco Mattiacci, Maurizio Arriva Beni, and Benotto all failed. Vasseur must now succeed by ending Ferrari's championship drought, and he's exactly the right man for the job. Vasseur will enter a Ferrari team that is dealing with a big mix of emotions off the back of its 2022 campaign. While it was a missed opportunity to sustain a fight against Red Bull for the championship, it nevertheless marked a true return to being competitive again. A first win in two and a half years plus a solid baseline car gave good optimism for the future. Ferrari CEO Benedetto Vigna's comment in an interview that he was not satisfied with second place because second is first of the losers seemed to underestimate the progress that's been made this year. Sure, the year didn't give Ferrari what it wanted, but it was still its best campaign since 2018. The time it will naturally take to get up to speed and understand the workings of the Ferrari machine, the most complex in F1, makes it a big ask to get things right the first time around in 2023. Vasseur is very much a realist. He won't be going into Ferrari expecting to click his fingers and make it a success from the word go, but there will be a clear sense of how he does and does not want things to work. A sign of this came when he arrived at Sauber as team principal in 2017. Within an hour of starting the job, he'd already cancelled the planned engine deal with Honda for 2018, so confident he was it was the wrong direction to go in. Being so clinical may be a different proposition with a team the size and scale of Ferrari compared to what Vasseur ran at Sauber. Yet he's turned the team around, ending with its best finish under his stewardship of six in the championship this year. The momentum at the team has been very positive, and much of that is down to Vasseur's influence. My job at the end is not to pay so much attention to the positive points, said Vasseur. It's try to understand where we f***ed up and try to improve. Vasseur's history with Charles Leclerc is also something that cannot be overlooked. Leclerc raced for Art Grand Prix, the junior team Vasseur co-founded, on his way to the GP3 and Formula 2 titles. He then linked up with Sauber for his debut F1 season in 2018, putting in performances that gave Ferrari all the evidence it needed to hand him a seat for the following year. Motorsport.com put Vasseur's name to Leclerc, asking about his suitability for the job, to which Leclerc noted that Ferrari was a very different team to any other, but he spoke warmly of their relationship. I've been working with Fred already from the junior categories, where he has believed in me, and then we've always had a good relationship, said Leclerc. But apart from that, obviously this shouldn't influence any of the decisions. He's always been very straightforward, very honest, and this is something that I like from Fred. As Leclerc said, making things work with Ferrari is a very different challenge to any other team in F1, meaning there's no guarantee of things working well again with Vasseur as they did at Art or Sauber. But it's still encouraging for Ferrari that its young star, the great hope so much of its F1 future looks set to surround, gels well with a new man coming in. Ferrari will be the third team Vasseur has led in F1. He enjoyed a brief stint at Renault in 2016 before walking away, feeling his vision for the team didn't fit with that of managing director Cyril Abitbull. I had some troubles to fit with the system, Vasseur said in 2018, insisting there were no regrets or hard feelings. To be in charge of Ferrari's Formula 1 team is not something you can mould or adjust to fit what you want in the same way. Yet for Vasseur to leave Sauber, a team he had turned around to the point that Audi is arriving in 2026 and giving it work status, points to the confidence he must have in making it work. The brutality will be something Vasseur has never previously faced in the same way. But if anyone can handle it, dealing with the pressures of an expectant nation, a fierce fan base, and the infested waters of F1's Piranha Club, it's definitely him.
So what do you think? Is it the right choice for Ferrari choosing Vasseur as the new team principal? And what are your expectations about Audi in 2026? Let me know in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video.